Welcome to another InfraScale how-to series. Today we're going to cover integration with ConnectWise. First we'll cover what is ConnectWise, how does the InfraScale system integrate with ConnectWise, and then how do I configure this integration. So let's start off with a little bit about ConnectWise. ConnectWise is your professional services automation tool. It allows you to track your clients, hours worked, services rendered, create support tickets, etc. It's uh, one of the many systems that can be the central hub to you as a managed service provider. So how does InfraScale integrate with it? InfraScale has its own monitoring system. So if we go to our event monitoring in the dashboard, we can see errors, warnings, just notifications that everything is fine. In our settings area, we have some options for more proactive monitoring and reporting to actually tell you and your staff when something needs attention. One example of that is an error and warning alert email. So you can send this directly to whatever email address would automatically create a support ticket, and then you can filter by the types of errors and warnings here. And that's one way that you can integrate into any PSA, not just ConnectWise. The other way would be to use the outbound API URL address. This is going to be a little more advanced. It's going to require a bit of uh, web development, but you could post the monitoring data to whatever URL that you like, and then parse against that to better work into a more advanced workflow. So let's talk about ConnectWise. How do we configure this? Well, you go to Settings, Integration, and then select ConnectWise. Here you're going to be asked for information so that we can directly connect to your ConnectWise instance. To get started, you'll need to get an integrator username and password. To do that, you'll need to install the ConnectWise agent. So you come here into the ConnectWise agent, and we go to System, and then Setup Tables. Under Setup Tables, select General, hit Enter, and then you'll see Integrator Login. So here we already have integrator logins created, but to create a new one, you just hit new item here, and then you're off to the races. Once you have your login, go back to our dashboard and fill out this information and hit save. Then you can use the ConnectWise web interface to see the tickets that are created in your system. Like the monitoring system, we include all the information that you would see here in what the ticket is created for ConnectWise. So the account, the company name, the device name, the type of backup, uh, the job name if applicable, and then the details about the backup. So I go to ConnectWise and go to my Service Desk tab. And let's look at the Service Board. Now I'll filter the Service Board to integration. And now this is going to filter to show me all the tickets created here. So we have these tickets created, and if I mouse over the summary description, it'll actually give me the details that are included in the email as well. So we can see the backup type is a folder backup with this account name, and the event is that there hasn't been a backup that's run for a week. So if this is a device we know that has a problem or is no longer needed, all we have to do is simply go to our dashboard and deactivate the device. Otherwise, we know that we have to go investigate this device for our customer. And that's the basis of how we integrate with ConnectWise. So again, to make things nice and easy, anytime there's a warning or an error, you can automatically have a ticket created in your ConnectWise ticketing system, saving you time and money. For more information, feel free to contact support. You can call us 24-7, and we have lines all over the world, or you can try our free chat. Thanks, and have a good one.